Hypertension or high blood pressure is defined as the prolonged increase in blood pressure. Although patients might be asymptomatic, uncontrolled hypertension places them at risk for heart disease, stroke, and kidney disease. Most patients have primary or essential hypertension. The cause is unknown, but a combination of risk factors is usually present, such as obesity, sedentary lifestyle, excessive salt intake, smoking, family history, diabetes, and dyslipidemia. Secondary hypertension can be caused by renal disease such as chronic kidney disease, adrenal disease such as excess aldosterone secretion, obstructive sleep apnea, or medications. The increased activity of the symptomatic nervous system and renin angiotensin aldosterone system leads to increased level of norepinephrine, angiotensin II, and aldosterone. This can in turn cause elevation in blood pressure. Most medications used to treat hypertension target these neurohormonal pathways. Accurate measurement of blood pressure is essential for the diagnosis of hypertension and when assessing if titration of medication is needed. Blood pressure reading in the same individual can vary during the day due to exercise, eating, and medications. Furthermore, blood pressure usually decreases during night and increases again in the morning. Blood pressure results should be based on an average of at least two readings on separate occasions, preferably standardized to the timing of medication administration. The American College of Cardiology and American Heart Association have defined four categories of blood pressure in adults based on systolic and or diastolic readings. Normal blood pressure should have a systolic level of less than 120 and a diastolic of less than 80. Elevated blood pressure should have a systolic of 120 to 129 and diastolic less than 80. For the stage 1 of hypertension, the systolic level would be between 130 and 139, and the diastolic would be 80 to 89. And finally, for the stage 2 of hypertension, the systolic level would be equal or greater than 140, and the diastolic would be equal or greater than 90. Lifestyle interventions are essential to prevent hypertension and during treatment of hypertension in conjunction with medications. Weight loss can help with decreasing blood pressure where each 1 kg of weight loss decreases blood pressure by 1 mm of mercury. A heart-healthy diet such as DASH diet that is high in vegetables, low-fat dairy products, and low-saturated fats and sugar and salt, while also limiting alcohol consumption to one drink daily for women and two drinks daily for men. Smoke cessation should be encouraged for smokers to help further decrease the blood pressure and decrease further complications. When it comes to pharmacological treatment, once daily regimens are preferred for medications adherence. Four drug classes are preferred for initial and or titration of treatment before selecting medication from alternative drug classes. These drug classes are ACE inhibitors, ARBs, CCBs, or thiazide diuretics. Most patients will require two or more drugs. Additional drugs needed for blood pressure control after initial drug selection should be selected from the four preferred drug classes before moving to the alternative classes. Patients with hypertension and comorbid conditions such as heart failure, ischemic heart disease should be treated to specific disease state guidelines recommendations. Angiotensin converting enzymes inhibitor or ACE inhibitor are agents that block the conversion of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2, resulting in decreased vasoconstriction and aldosterone secretion. They block the degradation of bradykinin, which is thought to contribute to the vasodilation effects. Angiotensin 2 receptor blockers or ARBs. Angiotensin 2 is a hormone that is stimulated by the kidneys. When the body secretes this hormone, it can cause a vasoconstriction in the arteries, which in turn can cause a raise in blood pressure. ARBs medications can block this hormone. When this hormone is blocked, it can cause a vasodilation, which in turn can decrease the blood pressure. There are two types of calcium channel blockers. The first one is dihydropyridine calcium channel blocker, which works by inhibiting calcium ions from entering the vascular smooth muscle and myocardial cells. This causes peripheral arterial vasodilation. 
The second type is non-dihydropyridine calcium channel blocker. They are primarily used to control heart rate and certain arrhythmias. They inhibit calcium ions from entering the vascular smooth muscle and myocardial cells, but they are more selective for the myocardium. The decrease in blood pressure produced by non-dihydropyridines is due to negative inotropic or decreased force of ventricular contractions and negative chronotropic decrease in heart rate effect. Thiazide inhibits sodium reabsorption in the distal convoluted tubules, causing increased excretion of sodium, chloride, water, and potassium, which is why they're recommended to take in the morning to avoid nocturia. It's also worth to mention that thiazides are not effective when creatinine clearance is less than 30. Potassium sparing diuretics are non selective aldosterone receptor antagonists that does not exhibit endocrine side effects. These agents are used to counteract the mild potassium losses seen in thiazide diuretics. It's important to remember that almost all medications come with side effects, such as dizziness when standing up, or else known as orthostatic hypotension, decreasing kidney function, imbalanced electrolytes, and persistent cough and ACE inhibitors, as well as drug-drug interactions, such as when taking ACE and ARPS together. Avoiding certain unwanted side effects can be done always by checking for drug interaction, monitoring patients for side effects, as well as counseling patients to help manage these medications. And always remember to start low and go slow with the dosing. This will help the patient adjust better and decrease the blood pressure in a controlled manner. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found this video helpful in reviewing hypertension.